question we have to find out swept volume okay so as i have already shared with you how to solve question in computer examination if you have been asked to do such type of question i mean mcu question i mean to say so this pretty question has been asked in gate and uh, here i'm going to share with you shortcut way to find out i uh, you know uh, that to find out uh, the answer of this question so first of all what we have to find out or to check out what we have to find out in the question here we have to find out work done i mean work in kilojoule so now for this process which process they are talking about here they are talking about uh, compressed reversal isothermal process okay so we know work done formula for isothermal process p1 v1 natural log p2 by p1 we got this formula we have to find out w work done now let's find out all these terms we need to find out only three terms that is p1 p2 and v1 if we can able to find out these three terms from this question our problem will be solved are you getting me so now let's for uh, go for the question a cylinder contains 5 meter cube of an ideal gas okay so that must be v1 5 meter cube at a pressure of 1 bar p1 is equal to 1 bar okay this gas is compared is compressed in a reversible isothermal process till its pressure increases that means p2 is equal to 5 bar the work done in kilojoule okay here you need also matter so now p1 is equal to how much 1 bar 10 to the power 5 pascal volume pascal means what newton per meter square that means this is in si unit so p1 is equal to this much that's okay v1 is equal to 5 meter cube natural log 5 bar by 1 bar that means 10 to the power 5 into 5 natural log 5 so now i have to find out the answer for this question 10 to the power 5 into 5 into natural log 5 is equal to how much 8047 18.95 joule so kilojoule divide should be divided with 1000 so 804.804.718 kilojoule the answer now check it out which one is our answer E. so this is how and you simply you can solve question and you know it's been around not even three minutes i have been talking and i'm just making you understand about this question so within one or two minutes you can solve this type of problem in the examination quite easily well thanks for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye